Next, um, we have WTI, who is a, uh, a, a newer vendor of ours. They really have some unique opportunities. We talked, when I first opened this presentation, we talked about other revenue streams, where we can make money. This is some low-hanging fruit, and we have some amazing products here with this company that I, that I asked uh, Cheryl to come on up here and uh, present to us. Uh, so, uh, Cheryl Lundy, is it Lund Lindy? Lundy. Lundy. Cheryl Lundy, WTI, let's give her a hand. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm usually loud enough I don't need something like this. The boss always tells me he can hear me from completely across the office when I'm on the phone with people. So if I get a little too loud, just let me know. They're laughing at me. I have to say, this is a fantastic group. I have had a wonderful time. I have met so many wonderful people here. You guys have given me a chance to show you what we can do. And thank you for letting us come and be part of your group. So, WTI Wireless is part of WTI, which is Worldwide Telecommunications, Inc. The company's been around for over 20 years. I've been with the company for 17 years myself. I am not sales. I am customer service. I will take care of you. We have a special agreement with Pocard. You don't go through the normal sales channel when you need something. You call me. I'm mom. I'll handle it. We'll get you taken care of. Right, Melbourne? Right. <laughs> Several of you already do work with us. One of the things that we have come up with in the process of saying, okay, what do our customers need? What can we change over is our wireless router. It has, it can be used as standard. It can be used to give you the internet that you need for your POS systems, for your ATM systems. But one of the things that we created after we got started with it was the backup failover module in it. So you've got a location, they've got hard landline internet coming into the location. There is no internet company out there that guarantees 100% uptime. None of them, they can't do it. So we took our little box, small little box, you see me at the table over there right by the door as you go out on the patio. And that's what I'm using to give myself the internet there and, and how to set it all set up. We take this small little box and we can monitor the location's internet with it, just by the way you connect it. It's not difficult, it is very, very easy to connect it up when it comes out of the box. And it monitors, it pings out through Google every three seconds to their internet provider. Everything's fine, it's good, no problem, it keeps going. As soon as it misses three pings in a row, it takes over, comes up and it's now providing the internet for the system. It continues to ping out. And as soon as it can get three solid good pings back, it goes back to sleep and the location's internet takes back over. So you don't have this downtime. And it's interesting because we see businesses where they'll be fine until one o'clock at night. And now you're one o'clock at night and you're in a bar and you've got several customers that want to check out, leave, they want to use their credit card. Your system's down, you can't charge them. No POS, no credit cards going through. There was a gentleman yesterday that spoke about how much people will buy when they can use a credit card versus when they have to use the cash that's in your pocket. I don't know about you guys, but I couldn't pay to fill my gas tank up with what's in my pocket, with this, what's in my wallet. I live in Southern California where gas is $4 a gallon. And so half a tank is where I would have to go at in cents. You're not going to get as much in sales. How do you tell the people that are standing there you don't know how much they're, how long you're going to be down, they want to pay their bar tab, do you just let them go? Do you say, oh, well, thanks, next time, you know, hope you had a great night. Not really one of the better things you want to do. So very, very simple solution, you go to them. I've heard value-added services several times being mentioned. What the guys that are using this now do is they go out and they say, hey, you're all set. I've got this product I can put in, and I'll charge you $35 a month for it. Some of them even are charging as high as $45 a month. Doesn't matter whether they use it, the usage is just charged by the megabyte, so it's not like we're saying, yeah, you're gonna go buy a gig, I'm gonna sell you a gig. And then, you use it great, you don't use it fine, we made a little extra money. The owner of our company is not geared that way, he never has been. You pay for what you use. 
they have a monthly charge that recurs on the SIM, SIM card that's in the unit, and then your usage costs. And in looking over existing customers and how it's rolled, how it's been working for them, it works out really pretty good. Uh, the average one that I've seen, I'm looking at one account, their SIMs, their charges might run six, seven, seven fifty a month for what they're using it for and how much usage it's got. But with our website, you can go in, you can see the usage by the hour, the day, the month. We can set up alerts. We've got this great cloud management system behind it. You can reboot the unit from the website if you need to. You can see the IPs that it's connected to. If you need to lock down certain things, so you only want these four pieces of equipment to be able to work through it. <coughs> so that unlike another client that I had two weeks ago that they all of a sudden couldn't figure out why they were getting three alerts for 50 megabytes within one hour. Well, it seems that their son had plugged his computer and was downloading some video games because he could not get his Wi-Fi in the building where they were at. <laughs> okay, great, so we need to lock you down a little bit so that your son can't do that again. Yeah. But we were able to figure it out very, very quickly. We can go into it and see what's going on in the answer. They're very simple. They are just the straw that everything passes through. We pass PCI compliance every single time. We cannot get into it to do anything with it. It's a simple solution for people. We have several people here who are using them, and I don't think I've had too many problems with anybody uh, in working on it. So, anybody got any questions I can answer for you? I have a couple. Um, I bet you do. So, so <laughs> let's say I have a prospect in a remote area. They don't have internet connection, and I want to run credit cards or something, uh, my point of sale system without the internet, can we use this for that? Yeah, we can set it up for standard use, not the backup failover. And uh, POS machine, credit card machines, ATM stuff, might use about five megs a month on average because you're passing actually okay. very little going But you can charge more. I mean, you, you can, can charge. charge more, yes. Yeah. So uh, I know Dennis has sold into some rural areas that don't have her proper internet. How about public Wi-Fi? We don't do Wi-Fi. Okay. We don't have the Wi-Fi feature turned on in any of them. Okay. Uh, there are as the box, two antennas. So the box. Cable. You hook it up. Okay. Very very simple. I have them out on the table still. If anybody wants to see them, yes. You do you hook a Wi-Fi router to it? I'm sorry. You hook a Wi-Fi router. <laughs> Because we're looking, at, I know somebody wants to, we, we want to set somebody up for public Wi-Fi, but if they have, could you work up, hook up a router, a Wi-Fi router to it, and would it work? My concern would be how much usage it could possibly have then with the Wi-Fi being hooked up to it, what other people connecting it would use it for. Um, and the reason I say that is because you are being charged per megabyte. So how do you build, just out of my curiosity, so I have a co-card office, I want to be able to set a merchant company to say, fill out an application, right? Yep, you talk to Jenny. Talk to Jenny, <laughs> submit it. Do you then, so whatever that charge that merchant, whatever that might be, the difference then, um, based on how much uses they use, so I gotta make sure I price this accordingly, right? Yeah. I need to help here. Yeah. Could you help me? I'm, I'm just trying to figure this out from, Milber, from Milber, the layman's standpoint. Go up front, please. Come on up. Yeah, come on up. Can you explain this to us? Yeah, there's some things you need to know. The, it, it's a fabulous system. It can be set up as a primary. It can be set up as a backup. You do not want to use this as a primary with a cloud-based Okay. Now, it, it'll work perfect as a backup, but you're going to need... I, I made the mistake of setting one up and they used about 13 gigabytes of data in a month, and you're charged per gigabyte, so you don't want to do that. But it is a fabulous product. <coughs> I've got phone systems on it, I've got five, six terminals, ITMs on it, and it doesn't even use a gigabyte of data. And you've got merchants across the country, they're paying, they're paying 100 bucks a month for a phone. You can charge 69, 59, you can charge whatever you want for this. Average 49. Average 49, My average merchant's about $6 a month. 
because it washes itself out. It charge extra for the it, it's twelve dollars. Our average cost is about twelve dollars a, a gigabyte. Okay. And if they go over, you're gonna have to increase. You're gonna if you would increase your fees, uh, and it's really your choice. If, if you've got, or if you've got money this month, well, I better start increasing my fees. I don't want to lose money every month. If you've got a merchant and they're using it as a backup, and they go seven months with zero usage, and then that one month they use two gigabytes, are you really going to charge them? It, it's all how you look at it. So can you put, you can put this in front of the router? Right? Yes. And then you can use it for your I would not use, no, this is, let, let me tell you what I use this for. This is PCI Bulletproof. If you, if you look at your PCI requirements, you got to have your processing on a separate uh, platform. This is separate. And you're not going to get through this Wi-Fi. In fact, they can even hide this so they can't even see it. We have to white label it to allow them to even get in to scan it. So it's extremely, extremely safe PCI as long as you don't hook a computer to it and start getting on the internet. Well, what I'm asking is, okay, we have mobile bikes and then we have our CAD on So they go down, typically our station is the only one still process. So we're talking about still being in payment scope, not letting... Yeah, then it would work perfect. So when, when the internet goes down on your payment, this is going to automatically kick in. It takes less than a minute for it to kick in. And once it picks up that your signal is back up, it's going to automatically revert back to your other internet. But you have to be plugged in. But it, it's a plug-in. It's not a Wi-Fi. It's a plug-in. Sorry, I, I don't know if I missed this, but so you have this plugged in as a secondary. You have it plugged in all the time, so you don't like if you're wired. It's always it's it's hardwired okay. into the system. So if your internet goes down, it's not like you have to tell them. No, you it's going to automatically uh, pick up your internet stand. It's going to come up and keep you in, with the internet. Oh. Okay. Where is your first internet? No. So is there? So what you're saying <laughs> is there's no you can't bill it as a, a flat fee plus a per gigabyte. So you say, could, could you do it monthly and then so much per You You can, however you want to do it. Absolutely. You're controlling it. You're doing the ACH on it. You can set it up. Uh, and, and I do let them know there's a cap for one gigabyte. And I charge one, one more question. Gigabyte. And then Raymond. I, I just want... I WTI also does phone systems too, correct? Oh, you yes, do sir. We do voice dial tele. Hey, so, yeah. so, when you go to her office, table, talk to her about it. Okay. So, remember, we talked about you know, Scott's doing yes. voice with another company, we'll talk to Scott, but here's what we have. We have a place right now. If you're interested in offering a company voice, we have a contract already with them. Contract terms are all meant to I don't want to tie anybody into them. We've got a role here, but go ahead. Is there a system like this that we could use? I don't know that question. I'm not aware of one. I'm not aware of one. You go research it, man. Go research it. I can't read the small print. Yeah, the issue is it talks about whether you're a new business. It's propaganda. No, but it's good. Propaganda. Yeah. WTI Wireless is the WTIWireless.com. If you go to the website, there's a solution section in there. We also talk about the different pieces. Okay. They, yes, sir. You own the equipment. Yeah. Yeah. You can lease it out. You can sell it out. However, you are comfortable. Whatever your company. Yeah, it's like a car. Term, it's like a credit card term. Exactly. Yeah. It's yours. Put it back. So, so how competitive you are with all these bot Verizon, AT&T, and TV plans? So now the customers are already going with cellular. The LTE type of model, right? So well, we're, the, the units, the, the 1200 or series or the 1000 series, I'll call it, is a 4G LTE. The 3000 series is 4G LTE and has the 3G fallback. And then we have our 6000 series that's in process of being certified between AT&T, Verizon. But they can't buy that on their own and offer this service. So there's no, no. competition. Yeah, you don't, they can't put their SIM they can't put in their SIM. Yeah, they, they have to work. work. That doesn't work. We we can't, that's any other questions? Should we have our booth? Yeah. I have this right now. You'll be at the table.